Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be making some potions. That is right guys, I've really been lacking them in this series because potions are a key part of Minecraft and an even bigger part in PvP. All the PvP battles I've been doing, I've been saying no potions previously because I haven't had time to get them prepared. But this episode, we're going to get the potion room all organized, set it all up, ready to go. I might even make some automatic potion brewers, but to do that, I think I need to do a bit more research and gather up some more resources. So I might test it out in a creative world first, or in my redstone world. Maybe I'll do a tutorial about it. Tell me in the comment section, do you want me to make an automatic brewer tutorial? Um... So I can do that, I'd definitely do that. I've got a redstone series with tons of good stuff, and I'd love to add that to the collection, so make sure to tell me in the comments if you want that. And also, while I'm down here, I have been doing some changes to the base. I've got a whole bunch of random stuff I need to get out of my inventory first. But yeah, I've been doing a whole bunch of changes, and I've been changing up my inventory a lot. I actually did this little redstone circuit here, which is really nice. Um, I'll quickly dump this in the chest as well. Dump, dump, dump. There we go. So yeah, I did this little redstone circuit to make my farm even easier to harvest. <laughs> That's, it's beyond lazy, to be honest. I mean, I put this automatic farmer to knock them all off at once with the lever here, but that was taking too long because look how much I've got. Is it in here? Yeah, I've got a couple stacks now, and that was taking too long, so I'm like, how can I make this even lazier? What did I do? I changed it to a button, so I don't have to unflick it. And I think it's all pretty much grown. I can show you what it does. What you do, you flick the button, it pushes it across this way, then pushes it back. So you don't have to even bother flicking the lever more than once, you only have to press a button. Even more lazier, I know, but there we go. We got basically a whole stack from that one harvest. And at the back here, bam, another whole stack. Now you just gotta replant it which is the only manual thing you have to do about this farm. I mean, I could make it automatic, or nearly automatic, you would still have to plan it, but I could make it more automatic with hoppers, and I might do that at a later stage, but for now, my base is fairly small, and I'm happy with it, I'm really happy with that. I'll show you exactly how to do it with this side, because I haven't actually adjusted it yet. So let's go ahead and grab out some redstone. We will grab this, we will grab the button, we will deposit our newly farmed cocoa beans, and I will show you how to turn this farm, which is already, um, for the lazy people, into an even more lazy people build. All you want to do is you want to hit away your lever, and you want to put redstone feeding into it. So just like that, bam. Now when the redstone feeds into this block, it operates exactly like a lever. It turns off this torch, which turns off the power to these pistons. Pretty simple. You want to bring it across the floor, Make sure it's not too close to the pistons so it doesn't activate it. And then you want to chuck a repeater in here. That's all you want to do. The repeater is just so the timings... It's just for setting a basic time. You could do this with, like, hoppers. You could do this with um, blocks, with redstone torches. You could do it with anything, but a repeater is a lazy way of doing it. That's putting a delay on it. And you want to bring this up to hit that block right there. Do we have a block in our inventory? Yes, we do. Bam. So this feeds up into this one, just like the lever would. So now what happens is these pistons pull back. Then the circuit goes to here, waits four ticks. Bam, these pistons push out. Then all the things get knocked off. Then when the button unticks, all these pistons get pushed back out again. So now we just need to put a button down anywhere along this circuit before the redstone. So we could even put the button here if we wanted to dig that out. But a simple one is just like I have here. We'll do that. And bam. Pulled in, pushed, and then pushed out again. Did you see that? That went a bit quick, but you got the point. Pulled back, pushed out, pushed back out again. Too easy. Did we get both stacks on this one side? That'll be a fluke. Let's run around the back here. Yeah, we did. That was pretty good. Both stacks of cocoa beans got put on that side. Now, now that I've changed the design, we can actually get rid of these extra doors and make it a bit more secure as well. So we can get rid of this, because that doesn't need to be there. We can get rid of this door, because these pistons will always be extended now. Ding, ding, ding. We can fill this up to stop people from enderpearling through that. And we can also hit this door and move it back one to stop it opening with the redstone right there. So we can do that and then go bam, bam, bam. Even more protection. GG. So that's how you'd get out the back now. 
as the only entrance. Really nice. Can't end a pearl through here anymore. Even better security. Even easier to plant and harvest. That's a really good design. Copy it if you want, guys. I'd love to see you guys. If I ever go to anyone's base, which I will start doing, I'll start asking people to tweet me at their bases and I'll go check them out in recordings. But, yep. Definitely worth building. Really good farm. Really simple. Let me through the door. If that door glitch ever happens to you, you just gotta double click. Did you see that, guys? But anyway, that's what am I doing? I'm taking this. I am taking these water buckets. I am taking these signs. I am dumping useless stuff. So bye, bye, bye. See you later. Ooh. Knockback. Eh, I don't know about that. We'll get rid of it for now. And we'll also deposit this down here. Oh, there's another stack. Okay, we're good to go. We're good to go. This is where I am planning to build the potion room, guys. I want it to be really compact, like really close in together. And I'm going to put water through the wall here. So I might go ahead and dig that out now on camera. But basically, I just want it to have water here so no one can raid it. Because it is possible to get TNT in here because we are underground. And I don't actually have any protection, really. Oh, that was the wrong block. My bad. I don't have any protection down here because there's no water surrounding me. So if someone was to build a really big TNT cannon, they could technically get my stuff down here, even though there's nothing of value. They could do it. So we're going to put an extra layer of security just for the sake of it. And the water's going to go out here. I'll keep digging this off camera. This is kind of a waste of time. You get the point. The water buckets are going to go along the roof here, though, to make an extra layer of water around my brewing stands down here. And up here, someone also brought to my attention that people could use creeper eggs. Well, I think I thought of it in the last episode to blow up these chests. And even though I have nothing and they'll be wasting hardcore money, um, it's still worth protecting. I mean, look, there is some... I don't know, it's kind of junk, but it's my junk. And I don't want people getting my junk, do I? So what I've decided to do is I haven't designed this yet, but I'm planning to put some water in here. We'll grab the water buckets, we'll put the signs here, and this is a really good way of protecting your stuff, even if it is already protected. It's like a backup backup. So, I reckon for the top one, we just go ahead and put a sign here, and sign stop water, guys, that's why I'm doing that. A sign there, and we put water here. Yeah, okay, that kind of works. Can I swim up that easily? Yeah, I could continue that same design down. So this water would go down to here, and we would stop it there. Let's test what this water bucket does now. Perfect, alright. So we can do this little, this little water design using the right angle of water, making sure it flows at least once. So we'll put the, the next sign... Actually, I'll bring this sign down one more, and I'll change my F home. I'll bring that sign to there, so this this chest is extra covered. And we'll put that water block source there. Alright, that's looking pretty nice. We do need to block it off here, though. Bam. Yep, there we go. And then I guess I can go slash F set home here. I just want to make sure it's right in the middle and it's not blocking every, anything. Slash F set home. You must be a moderator set home. Alright, I have to do that on my other account, but whatever. You guys get the point. Now my chests are extra protected. So if someone was to TNT in here, hopefully this water will stop them from hitting any of my major chests. It's a nice little addition. Hopefully it works out for me. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. That's all I wanted to do with the water buckets. Let's head back to Spawn now and get started on this potion farm. I actually forgot how to make potions. It's been so long. I'll try and remember for you guys. But, um, actually I could just cut the video and have a quick research. Nah, nah, whatever. Let's just go. We'll buy some potion ingredients first. Over here. Oh, some free cocoa beans. Thank you very much. I should probably sell mine, shouldn't I? There we go. Let's sell these bad boys. What have we got here? Buy, sell. Make me the money, bitch. All the monies. Look at that. All the monies. If you click it on the last one in your hotbar, it also does them all without you having to switch them in your inventory. Very good. How much money are we making from that? Thousands, guys. Absolutely thousands. It's a very minimal effort. It's extra... Oh, I need 16 to sell them. Okay, I'm all out. And 
I'll actually be right back, guys. I am going to look up some of the potion ingredients just to make sure I do not get anything wrong. I want 100% accurate in all my videos, so be right back. I'll quickly go research something. Okay, guys, I'm back after double-checking my facts with the Minecraft wiki, which is extremely useful when trying to remember things like potions or recipes to build things. I mean, I've been playing Minecraft for absolutely ages, and I don't even remember all the recipes. My memory's not the best, but it's all right, and it's still good to always check the wiki. So if you see me building something in a video or making a potion, and you forgot by the end of the video, don't worry, just Google it, check out the wiki, it'll tell you exactly what to do. So, what I'm going to be doing actually is only focusing on a few potions this episode. If you want to learn how to make the others, as I said, the wiki, but for what I need, I just need a couple brewing stands, they're really cheap so you can pick them up for a good deal here, look at that, 150 per pop. And I need a whole bunch of nether warts, which I can find over here in the farmable section because nether warts are the core ingredient for all major potions. There is a few potions that don't require it, but, I mean, they're terrible, to be perfectly honest. So make sure you have a big supply of these. Um, well, at least the ones I like, which are speed, instant health, and strength. They what I would call the main potions. You want to give me some more brewing stands? Thank you. Mastermind, don't give me that stuff. I'm fine, I'm fine. Thank you so much. Please use that to build your base. <laughs> All right, so... What I need for potions of healing, actually forgot what was on the wiki already, no I didn't, it was glistering melons, I'm 50% sure, 80, 90% sure, <laughs> so yeah, glistering melons, and that makes the potions of healing, and then to make it increased potency, you need glowstone, so where's glowstone at in the shop actually, I haven't bought glowstone before, I wonder if it's even in the shop. Or if I have to go harvest my own glowstone, that'll be a massive pain in the ass if I have to do that. I'll, I'll just log into my other account and adds glowstone to the shop if it's not already here. It's probably in building blocks, isn't it? No? Not in the building section? Okay, okay, that's fine. Where is it? Oh, it, it was right opposite me the whole time! Noob 101! I built these shops and I don't even remember. And for those of you who are checking your Facebook right now, sorry that was me again. I should really start exiting Facebook before I start recording. Yeah, so you just make glowstone, and you can't actually turn it into glowstone dust like this, but we can place it and smash it. So we can't place it in spawn, but we can place it back at our base and then break it up into the glowstone dust, which is what we need to make it Potion of Healing 2. And... Da -da 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 -da. What else do we need? Potion of Strength uses Blaze Powder, so we'll stack up on some of that. Cheers, bro. And we can also buy some redstone, because redstone increases the duration. So if we're making some speed potions, that might come in useful. Inventory full. Thanks for telling me. I in horse armor. How did I... Who is giving me horse armor? And you can keep this, and I don't want obsidian. Thank you for the stuff. It's really appreciated, but I'm alright. I'm all right. I already have some redstone at home in my inventory, actually. Why am I buying this? Get out of here. Alright. So that's pretty much all I needed, I think. Glistering Melon for instant health, Blaze Powder for strength, and Glowstone to make them better. That's that's it. That's it. That's all I that's all I needed. Okay. We're good. We can buy some of these glass bottles because that just saves us from making them ourselves. And I think that's it. Oh I shouldn't have whistled, that's really loud in my mic. <laughs> Rest in peace, headphone users. Sorry about that. Alright, let's go slash F home now. I think we've got everything we need. We do need an infinite water source to fill up the water bottles. Oh, there's an enemy standing within 32 blocks. We've got to leg it so we can type F home. Stop jumping on these stairs. Whenever you jump on stairs, it teleports me back for some reason. Australian Internet 101 there. Maybe it's the no cheat on the server. I don't know. Slash F home. Yes, it's commencing. See you later. He, I've lost him. We'll chuck him some stuff. What do we chuck him? He have a brewing stand. Okay, we're back in our base. Good news, we forgot to shut that, which is a bad idea, but there we go, it's shut now. We'll jump down here into our little brewing room, we'll start setting it up, and I'll try and make a potion before wrapping this episode up. We will stack them up here, and some here, and some here, some here, why not? More brewing stands are better. We'll use this one first. Actually, we've got to make an infinite water source. Let's do it through here. Because this is going to work as a wall anyway, so let's just dig this out. 
dig here. Come on, let me through. And we'll just make one of the square infinite water sources. There is a couple way to, to make these, and I've shown you in previous episodes. But this is my favourite because it's it's not, it's just good. You can click anywhere and grab some water. Really nice. And that's just, that's not for filling up my water bucket. That's for filling up the glass bottles, guys. By the way. Actually, well, I don't even need an infinite water source. What am I saying? Oh, it's been so long since I've done potions. I was thinking of cauldrons. When you take the water from cauldrons, the water disappears. But when you're doing it this way, it doesn't actually disappear, so we're fine anyway. Didn't even need an infinite water source, but we'll leave it there anyway for extra protection. Once we cover this all up with water, that'll be good. And we'll chuck the water bottles in here. We actually need to get more. I should probably have a chest, but for example's sake, let's just keep jumping back for a second here. So we'll put the three potion bottles in. And the first ingredient, as I said before, is nether wart. So you want to chuck your nether wart in the brewing station. And you want to wait for this, it'll turn into an awkward potion. And then from there you can put in golden carrots, magma cream, sugar, glistering melon, spider eyes, gas tears, blaze powder, and change, that'll change it into a certain type. And then you can add glowstone or redstone to change the type of it. So we're going to make instant health first, real quick. And we're going to go slash, oop, slash ender chest. Oh, I don't have any wood in here. What a pain. Let's check if we have any wood on this floor. Wood, wood, wood. Yes, we do. Thank you very much. We can dump some more. We got so much stuff to dump everywhere, guys. I have so much crap. There we go. I'm just making some chests real quick. We don't need many, but there we go. I'm holding shift there to make it perfectly even so I can make two at once. There we go. We'll jump back down here. We will chuck the chests, um, let's just chuck it here right now, that's a good spot. And this is where we're going to dump our potions after we've made them here. So right here, now we have the instant health, uh, the potion of healing otherwise known as. And now what we want to do is I'm pretty sure glowstone increases the potency and we have to break that, so let's quickly do that. Wow, okay, let's chuck some down here, we'll smash it up. There we go, we got the glowstone dust out of it. Keep smashing it up. Smashy, smashy, smashy. Oh my god, that's reminding me of Yogg's cast. Diggy, diggy, hole, diggy, diggy, hole. <laughs> oh wow, that's, that song's so addicting. Just gets stuck in your head. But there we go, we got some glowstone dust. We'll chuck it in here. Hopefully this was the one I was thinking of. I think this makes it Potion of Healing 2. And then if I was to chuck a redstone in it, it would change it back. A potion of healing, but longer... Oh no, it'd have no duration, actually. Because redstone only increases duration, and how can you increase the duration of instant health? So that doesn't even make sense. So, I think redstone will change it back to a normal instant health, not the number two. See, I just got the number two at the end. So yeah, I think that's what would happen there. And that's bad, so we, we don't want that, guys. Pretty self-explanatory, but instant health two is better than one. So you do not want to put redstone. It is very bad for you. Redstone will screw you over majorly. Let's put three in here. We'll do two at once now. Three in here. In this one, we will make... Um, what should we make? Where's my blaze powder? Um, blaze powder. Am I blind? Am I blind, guys? Where's my blaze powder? Did I buy some? Um, what the... What the feck? Oh, here it is. I was about to be like, do I really have to go back to the shops? Are you kidding me? Luckily, I accidentally put the blaze powder in there. Oh, and we put the nether wart in? No. Nether wart first, guys. Do not forget that. Nether wart in here. And then we'll put a glistering melon in this one to make more instant health. And we'll put blaze powder in this one to the right. And I'm going to keep making potions. But yeah, if you do want the, if you do want me to make an automatic brewer and a tutorial for my redstone series, make sure to post it in the description. And also, guys, also don't forget I'm giving away a rank every two episodes on this series. So next episode I'm giving away a free rank, but you can enter on this episode because I have been picking the winners from the 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 episode I the, the episode before I announced it. So I'm thinking of picking the episode from this 
I'm thinking of picking a winner from this episode, guys, so make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, and then post in the comment section your in-game name and the server you want the free rank on. You can get the free rank on any of my servers, so just make sure to post which server you want the free rank on, and also make sure to post your in-game name, and you have a good chance of winning a free rank. Because I do an episode of this every couple days, and every two episodes, I give away a free rank. So, there has already been like 10 winners of a free rank, guys. 10 people have won a free rank. It is definitely possible. Make sure to enter. Make sure to chuck the video a like anyway, even if you don't want to enter. Help me out, bros. It really, legitimately makes me happy and helps me grow my YouTube channel, which is greatly appreciated. But here we go. Blaze Powder in here. Um, glistering Melon in there. And we can also start stocking up these with um, water bottles, I guess. We won't really do anything with them, because people might come in here and ninja them. But we'll just leave the water bottles, because they're worth nothing. We'll wait for this to brew, and then I'll show you how to make Strength 2. Well, actually, you already know how to make Strength 2, if you were listening to me before. And that is... With... Glowstone. That makes Strength 2, but... We can make extended glowstone by putting... Or extended strength, I mean. So it lasts for longer. See how it lasts for three minutes? We can make it last for longer by putting redstone. But I do not want that. I would rather have strength two. So I'm just going to put a piece of glowstone in. And I forgot what happens if you... I think if I was to put redstone in on top of a strength two, it changes it into the extended strength one. So I'm pretty sure you can't have the best of both worlds and get an extended... Um, strength 2. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure about that. We could test it right now, but I'm pretty sure it'll change it to a strength extended. So I'm not going to bother. I would rather just keep these potions for myself here. So I can nom nom them up later. Very nice, very nice. Easy to make these potions as well, guys. Did I put the glistering melon in here? Yeah, I did. So now I need to put the glowstone. And I think that's pretty much it for this episode. I do have some major things planned, though, guys. Please stay tuned to my channel. I have some great videos coming up. Lots of tutorials. I'm even thinking... Oh, actually, I'm not thinking. I am going to be starting up my single-player Let's Play once again. It was one of my most popular series that I started when I was at only 1,000 subscribers. For all of you new YouTubers out there, I was just like you. Not that long ago, I was at 1,000 subscribers starting my single player series and I want to bring it back. I'm going to bring back that series. I know a lot of people have been wanting it, so my single player series will be brought back. There is new servers being added to the hub at hub.hadescraft.com over the next week. I'll be doing some very nice and tutorial-y type videos, which everyone will enjoy. Some mod reviews, things like that. So make sure to stay tuned. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you today, guys. Let's chuck a bit of glowstone down here to light it up. This episode is probably a bit dark because of how YouTube's terrible at doing what they do, but Google Plus, <coughs> terrible idea. Anyway, I'll <laughs> uh, we'll chuck this down here, and I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.